Welcome to another episode of Ridiculous Reverb Listings. I'm your host, Fluff. I don't know why I snapped. I'm in a snappy mood. If you like supporting the channel, give me a subscribe or feel free to buy yourself something using my affiliate links down below in the description or also utilize the email link in the description to send me your own Ridiculous Reverb Listing that you may come across. Let's get to the ridiculousness, shall we? MXR DD25 Green Day Dookie Drive Overdrive Pedal. A thousand dollars? You want a thou? So this is the Mark I version of the Dookie Pedal. I believe there's been like 25 different graphical versions of these. I'm being sarcastic. There's like three or four or something like that. And now it's also the FOD drive. Same circuit, same pedal. Um, this is the first version of, of this pedal though. Um, <laughs> you know, even even Reverb is like, yo, that pedal's like 325 bucks, bruh. Let's, let's look. Oh, <laughs> all it says is meat, P and meat. That's it, there we are. It's so punk rock, dude. The Dookie Drive, yeah. Yep, it's a pedal with Velcro. Get out of here with your Velcro crap. Yep, debuted at NAMM 2019. Um, $1,000, bruh. Uh, you can go and eat some Dookie before I, I pay $1,000 for one of these pedals. Next, TPP Beatles King Features Gibson USA Les Paul Jr. Tribute, $3,174? Huh? Uh, did someone really paint the, a Beatles cartoon on this damn thing and then charge like triple what this guitar cost new? Let's find out, shall we? Um, this TPP Beatles King Features Les Paul Jr. tribute has been produced by the Painted Player Guitar Company in the UK using a beautiful Gibson USA Les Paul Jr. featuring a powerful Gibson P90 bridge pickup, classic 50s wraparound bridge, white button machine heads, and a stunning two-tone TV yellow slash gloss ebony finish. With hand-finished... King features tribute artwork based on, upon the iconic U.S. cartoon series that rose to popularity at the height of the Beatles' international success, complete with a free Les Paul fitted hard case. Okay, well, these came with a hard case when you bought them new. Uh, guitar is new. However, due to Reverb.com item definitions, we have to list, list guitars as mint because they have been professionally modified from the original factory condition. You are correct. Seller, uh, who is the painted player guitar company. Okay, so <laughs> this is this is the definition of a ridiculous reverb listing. You know, I highly doubt. Okay, so this guitar, this guitar started life as a base model USA Gibson uh, Les Paul Jr. This is a thirteen hundred dollar guitar. This is not the VOS because it has a different finish on it and it's more of a see-through. It's not as bright. Uh, this is like a $1,300 USA made Gibson. This is the base model. And they painted the Beatles cartoon on it. Someone sat there and was like, you know, painted it. And now they want $3,174. No one wants this. No one wants this. Not for thirty-one hundred dollars. If it was still like twelve hundred bucks, because uh, it's an inherently cool guitar. No one is looking like I, I want a new. I want a new Gibson that has nothing to do with the Beatles, with a Beatles painting on it. This is like an attempted. You know, this is a cash grab. This is an attempted. That you know they're hoping someone will be like, oh, oh, this is gonna be worth something someday, and then they buy it. And then like 30 years from now, the grandchildren are like, 
Is this worth something? Like, no, it's a $1,200 guitar painted with some crap on it. Moving on. Mesa Boogie Sign, 2000 $675. Really? Just a, just, just a Mesa Boogie Sign. That's a great picture. I don't know why this... Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Is this from like a storefront? Wow, it's all scratched up right there. Uh, for sale, original Mesa Boogie dealer sign. Okay. From the early 2000s. I am the original owner and obtained it directly from Mesa while working at a retailer. There are some minor scratches, but otherwise in the same condition as I received at noon. So a 20 year old Mesa Boogie sign for $675. Imagine the only people that would be stoked on this sign, honestly, you know, imagine the single guy, he has a place to himself and he has Mesa Boogie in the front room and his buddies come over and you're like, <laughs> check it out, dude. It's, it's a Mesa Boogie sign. And you're like, yeah, dude, that's sick, bro. You go on a date though and and a chick is gonna come over and go, what's a Mesa Boogie? And you're like, well, it's, it's an amp company. Oh, do you work for them? Well, no. Do you, do you own, do, what do they, they make what do they, well they make amplifiers oh okay well do do you own any of their amplifiers well not anymore because i had this i had to sell my last one to pay rent but like it's cool though right and she's like yeah it's, it's a maze of boogie sign like that's what i think of when i see something like this but 675 dollars when they when this dude probably got it for free because he was a dealer no moving on NES Nintendo electric guitar, seven string with a Jackson humbucker. My buddy Rob Scallon has one of these guitars and I believe he used it for a bunch of Mario covers or something like that. And it is a functional guitar. This is an absolutely ridiculous guitar though. Real talk. It's, it's clean though. It's well done. It's cool. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I'm not, I'm not saying it's ridiculously priced because that's not what I'm saying. This is a ridiculous guitar in all the best ways. And I love it. This is amazing. I wonder if that flap opens. Cause uh, you know, with the controls. They really took a real Nintendo. They hollowed it out. They put a wood block and then they, they bolted a guitar neck to it. And they made, they made an NES seven string. That is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you would have told 1988 me, hey, one day there's going to be a guitar made out of your uh, gaming system, I'd be like, that's not even a thing. No, it's, oh, it's oh, it's a thing, little fluff. It's a thing. <laughs> hey, boy. Yep, that's that's ridiculous. Moving on. <laughs> ESP MX220 Eat Fuck James Hetfield. 1989 first version super rare oh my lord $31,000 look at this guitar though oh this guitar is so sick this guitar is so nasty if I could own I'm not that into explorers I would I would give, I would sell, I would sell my leg for one of these things. I would sell my firstborn. Honey, if you're watching, dad doesn't mean that. I love you. Unless someone wants to trade or something. This guitar is amazing. It's so aggressively clean and it's just, it's, it's set to stun. It's going all in. This is an incredible guitar. The very first edition, James Hetfield limited edition signature. That is so sick. That is so sick. With the middle finger inlays, dude. $31,000. $31,000. off. Moving on. Strandberg Bowden Metal 8 2017 Black Custom. C 
custom. That is the ugliest finish I have ever seen in my life. There's no, no, dude. Did someone seriously do this to a Bowden? Strandbergs would never ever come like this. Oh my Lord. Who would do this? It's literally been rattle canned. I, these potato, uh, oh. A custom Strandberg Bowden with Duncan distortion pickups and a custom paint job. It's a rattle can. This will take your playing to the next level. Really nice and is great to play. These are sold out and the new ones come with black hardware. This is a rarity. I sell this so I can get money. <laughs> Isn't that why everyone sells things? But this dude, this dude is asking $8,200 for this thing. Uh, who in their right mind would be like, with one of those textured spray things and be like, this is good. This is, this is sick, dude. This is super sick. This thing needs to be put out of its misery and set on fire and made into like a nice, you know, someone needs to roast marshmallows with the flames of this thing. $8,200, get out of here. Moving on. Last but not least, a Gibson Les Paul white cloth from 1973 gold top. So this came, I presume this came with a 73 gold top, Les Paul. It's part of the, you know, the case where they include like a little wipe thing. How would you even know that? That's disgusting. Who would want that? In 1977, I bought a 1973 Les Paul special gold top and Gibson amp after just moved to uh, Oahu with my family. When recently cleaning out a box from that time period, I found the white cloth that had originally been in the guitar case. I traded that guitar away for a bunch of tools in the 90s when living on Vashon Island, Washington. Why do I need to know that, first of all? Wish I had that guitar back again. Okay, why are you selling this cost for $100? You seriously want a hundred? You feel good about like rolling this up or bunching it up and putting it in like an envelope and then a hundred dollars for that nasty ass cloth from 1973. Who would even be impressed by that? You like you whip it out like, huh? And so I'm like, what is that? That's nasty. You're like, well, it's, it's from 1973. So hundred dollars. This is $98 overpriced. We're done here. And that does it for this episode of Ridiculous Reverb Listing. If you have your own Ridiculous Reverb Listing that you would like to see on the show, feel free to send an email that is linked down below in the description. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. Fluff out. If you like the video you just watched, please consider subscribing. And if you want to further support me and what I do, consider using some of the affiliate links down below in the description of this video. Go on over to Sweetwater, buy yourself something and help me out at the same time. It's a win-win for both of us.